hot dog, please. Yeah, please. Yeah. Can I have two hot dogs, please? 120, please, love. What do you want, honey? That's yours. The 80 chain, Sarlo. Onion tomato sauce on it, love. My name's Katie and I'm 16 and I work on an hamburger van in Matthew Street. Yes, please. There is no jobs in Liverpool for young people, really. None of my mates have got jobs. They've just left school. I'm lucky to have that job on there. It's not a good job, but it's money. If it was normal hours, it wouldn't bother me at all, because we have a laugh. But with it being awkward hours, that's why I dislike it. Like, it's late and getting up in the morning and all that, and your air and your clothes smell. I don't mind doing the job, you'd have a laugh and all that. You'd meet like, you see everyone you know, you'd have a good laugh with them all and all that. You're all right, girls? Yeah. Here he is, girl. Yeah. Oh, you shouldn't be out at your age. <laughs> should be working like me. My mates are going in for that many different jobs. It's not like professional jobs anymore. I don't think anyone's really thought about careers yet. Everyone's just interested in having a laugh and having fun. And as long as they've got money in the pocket, they're not asked what the jobs are. I want to do what I want to do. My mum would like me to go and work now in the Inland Revenue as a tax officer, but I'm not interested in that. I don't want to be stuck in an office with shirt and ties and all that. Pound, please. I want to be out, look, seeing life and all that. And it's a good, it's a good chance here you now to see like sights and all that. Where's all the girls around you? There's a cute forming back there somewhere, I think. Way back there, there's a cute... I see no dogs. You can have uh, two uh, burgers, please. I've got loads of money in them, if that's possible. Do you want a burger, mate? Of course I do. Can you make that three burgers? Thank you, want commission, mate. I am not. Are you on commission? Do you know what that means, like? Yeah. You want two, mate? Yeah, too late. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, yeah. <laughs> Wait, I got four P. Got four P. Right, the vodka in the bottom of the, the drawer. It's changed a lot since when we were younger. It's like now, you start to part with your mates, don't you? You, you see less and less of them. But when we're together, we're wild. <laughs> we just let our ears down and have a good laugh, you know what I mean? People think that, oh, young girls go out to get fellas. We don't go out to get fellas, me and my mates. We go out to have a laugh. I've always hated school, I don't know why. I hate sitting in a room and being bored. I'd rather be out having a laugh. I've never been good in school. I was never good. I was always you know, a naughty person in school. Like, always in trouble, arsing around. I'm not going back to school, though. No way. Can't go. I hate it. My mum is on my case 24-7, all the time. Katie, I want you to go back to school. I want you to do this. I want you to wear here. It's not her life. It's me who has to fucking Yeah, but listen, mate, like, she's been through it all and she doesn't want you going through what she's been through. Do you she's know what I mean? She, just, she doesn't want you signing on to tell. She wants you to see places, doesn't she? So, you know, you, you've got to take some advice off it. Yeah. You know, he's listening to someone a bit older than yourself <laughs> because then... You, no, because they've done it, haven't they? They've been there, done it and seen it, so, you know. So what are you going to do with yourself now, Sam? Beautician. Got to go and see a beautician. I can't believe you got sacked on that job. Daniel, I'm not being funny, but six days a week for 43 pounds, that's disgusting. Nine till six. Six days a week? Six days a week, nine till six, 43 pounds a week. I wouldn't do it. But I'd have thought as well, wait till seven. Oh, um, no, not for that much. There's no fucking jobs, there's no options. There's nothing for you, is there? No. It's one of them, it's either going fucking work on a shitty shop or. You couldn't say, like, oh, well, I've got that option, I've got that, I've got that. You know what I mean? So. And look, I can't go back to school because I hate it that much. When you're working, I've got money in my pocket so I can go out, get myself clothes, nice get myself bit. a few bits. Well, that's, and all that's it. You know, if you haven't got the fashion nowadays, you get just ripped. Yeah, you yeah. do. If you so, haven't got so all the best clothes, you've got to have the best clothes. When we see like girls out, you have got to have the best clothes, and you just look at them and think. I mean.
mean, I feel like myself and I've seen girls with like 10 pound jeans on and I've got like 110 pound jeans on and I've gone to myself, how can she go out in Dead packed and we rushed off our feet. It's dead busy. No, all right, see all these people, they want serving as well. Now I've only got one pair of hands. Like sometimes we don't even have enough stock to serve them. We have to shut off early in there because we're, it's like, like the busiest street in Liverpool with all the pubs on it. So loads of people come. time over what she wants me to do it's like I want you to do such and such a thing I want better for you than what I had I want you to have a good life a good job but it's I think to myself well shut up you boring bitch it's my life and I want to do what I want to do not what you want me to do 
I do not want to go back to school. It's my life. You don't have to go to school, Mum. I do. You're like this, go back to school. But at the end of the day, it's me who has to go back well, to school. What have I told you a million times? I've sat and explained to you a million times. School is the best place for you because at the end of the day, you'll be getting an education and you'll come out with something. It's not as if it's a waste of time. You know, would you not like to go and work somewhere like the Inland Revenue? No. Why? I mean, all right, it doesn't have to be the Inland Revenue. What about in another office? I'm not, I do not want to be stuck in an office. There's the insurance. I do. I've just said I do not want to be stuck in no office, sitting in a room full of people all day, on a computer. I don't want to do that. What I don't do you want to outside. All right, all right, at the end of the day, what do you want to do? Go away and be a travel rep. And that's it, so you've got that in your head, so that's it, it's end of conversation. Yeah, but by the time, you've got to be 18 to do it. So by then, you have got no control over me by then. Exactly, anyway. so if you go back to school for, for, for like two years, that bridges your gap. You'll have no, you can, you can go to school for two years and then at the end of the day, then you can make the choices because you will be 18 and then the choices you'll make will be well, your own I choices. I get well then I've only got two years, yeah, and I want to do something in them two years. Not go to school. What, work on a burger van? No, it's always work on a burger van, work on a burger van. No, not work on a burger van. I won't work on the burger van forever. It's just for something for now. Do you know what I mean? But I can't say to you, I'll go back to school because, you know, I'll get bored and I hate it. I hate being indoors. I'd rather be out rather than sitting there like this But well, you're not going to get the qualifications being out. You need to sit and study and school is the right environment for it. Education is a very, very serious issue, Kate. And at the end of the day, you need education. Why? Oh, no way, it's off the council. Dear Madam, I would inform you that under the above Act you may be liable for prosecution for illegal street trading in the Liverpool City Centre. Therefore, I would strongly advise you to cease immediately trading any further trading in areas which are forbidden for purpose of street trading. That's a load of shit. It's a waste of paper. Pff, we're not going to stop trading for them. Stupid bastard. People who are drunk, you come up, you have a laugh with them, you know what I mean? You go, you have something to, to say good night, you go home. Don't care what we look like. Sam, what do you want on your burger? Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce, what do you want? One with meat. <laughs> Three pounds, yeah. Three pounds, but you can have it for 250 if you give me another one. Two, two, two. Excuse. <laughs> Some of them, you say something to them, they get dead aggravated and all that. But I'm not taking no shit off no one, know what I mean? They're standing there thinking that I'm a dickhead going to me fucking get it slag and all that. And I'm not taking that. So I turn around and I say, fuck off, dickheads and all that. I give as much as I get, do you know what I mean? What are you looking at him? What are you doing, you fucking prick? It was late and it was like half past two and we'd nearly finished. We were on, just about to shut up and go home. And some fella come to the side door. Go on, go for it. I know what. Go, on. go for it, you fucking tick. Go on. He had his hands down his pants, knows if he was going to pull something out. Go away. Go on. Little baseball bat. Little baseball bat. You'll have it right around your head, not bad. Me and when you're working on here, you've got a lot of money and taken. You've got security around you and all that because everyone, everyone looks after us. There's cameras and everything, but you still feel it a bit insecure. I'm shattered, I really am tired. It's been in work since 8 o'clock. I was in work last night and the night before. And, like, it's half two now. By the time I shut up, get rid of all these and get home, it's going to be, like, half three. And I have to get a bath when I'm getting because I feel dead. No minty off the grease and everything. At this time, I'm doing my head in because I've put up with them all night and now I'm tired and I can't cope with them no more. And if I, I know if I save them, I'll end up flipping and kicking off on them when they say something to me. Fuck off. I 
go sit here and plan out my life for the next five years. I'll do this, I'll do that, but I might not live the five years. So I'd rather live for today and live it, live it how it goes. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. You learn by your mistakes. You won't do it again.